I can actually hear this picture in Batty's voice as well. <laughs> no, it's when you do that inhale thing when you get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one? No, gotta, the long <laughs> one. I gotta say, my favorite Batty thing when he gets excited is when he his voice gets like slightly deep and he inhales and he goes, Yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my favorite batty yeah. voice because you sound very excited when that happens. The funny <laughs> thing about this is I don't know what that I do this. This isn't a tangent. Maybe this is our introductory bits. We're talking about Batty's laugh. I have a but lot of laughs. Since you want us to not be on a tangent, Chibi, you start. Go. Hi, I'm Chibi Wisdom. Uh, you can find me at Chibi Wisdom on Twitter. Uh, I play as Mai in this campaign. I play as Shallot in Oops All Sands. I play as uh, Old Man Richardson in Old Man Richardson's Arcade Machine. Um, I also play as King in uh, Dan's new uh -huh. game uh, that isn't going to be re released yet. Um, and some other characters that I'm too stupid to think of right now. Um, Go, Batty. My name's Batty, and I play your mom! <laughs> Whoa! Is that why we fight? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Okay. No, it's, it's, um, it's cool. It's cool. We're having dinner later. It's cool. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's not going to be any talking, but you're going to have dinner later. Yeah, Reef Anarchy, that's it. Bye. <laughs> you got to popcorn it off, Batty. Oh, I... Chibi. Chibi already went. Okay. Noodle. Noodle's not here. Oh my goodness. Thank you for volunteering, Hype. God damn. Okay, yeah. Hype Arbalist. Um, I play Muki Sato in this game. Um, I do some art stuff and um, things happen. Also, Dan. Well, hi, Ninja Dan Spawnhouse. I'll be playing Shino with uh, uh, Digimon. Uh, I also am GM of my uh, my own game now, which is not to be released yet. Uh, the Deep Not Ten. Uh, also, you know, nah. Dice Gay, Grifter, Doc Choi, all that jazz, fun times, cable. Hey, I didn't know you played jazz from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, kick, kick. Uh, I am a method actor. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> also. <laughs> Now I'll just interrupt for one thing. Hey, uh, Batty and Cable, change your t change your profile pictures. Fuck you. Momentarily. <laughs> Speaking of Cable, <laughs> what up, Cable Provider? Uh, DM for something I don't remember. Bugs X file the Dragon Phantasma. Um, Seichi here. Tom Bone Bugs X Bones. DM for File Phantasma and Oops All Saints. And happily representing Leather Tungsten in Dan's game, which will be not released yet, but I have some pending thoughts on when it can be released. So keep your ears to the ground. And he's also the lead singer in the new song Successor that you can find on the YouTube channel. I did my very best. Louise made me sound not terrible, which is good. Louise played the music for it. Louise is god tier on the guitar. Go pay him money. Don't even commission him. Just give him money. Like, don't give him more work. Just give him money. <laughs> Just the money. But on top of all that... Jack who? I am nary oh, but... Fuck. I am nary but a single cog. Orchestrated by the machine and the gear. Known simply as... K9. Formerly known as Blackjack. <sighs> You're an idiot. Thank you, I grew up Hi, myself. my name is Blackjack K9. I am your DM for this evening. Or morning. Or whenever you're watching. Uh, I play Matt King on Vile Phantasma. I play Dustin in Bugs X Bones. I play Keels in Oops All Saints. And in Dan's game, I play Martini. I am a very short, very foul mouth robot to say the least <laughs> who murdered kids anyway <laughs> they had it uh, like you're gonna do this session i'm about to say w wait there's a difference between now and <laughs> listen jack oh those, no those kids Life had it coming being all 
<laughs> Being all tiny and killable, those kids had okay. it coming. <laughs> Jack, I'm confused though. Give us a recap of last time, seeing as it was hit, it was a him episode. Wait, hold on real quick. Um, okay. Jack, what do you call those things? Like when people pay you money to do something? I think you have them open. Oh, my commissions are open. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, uh, last time with Digimon Knighthood, I went back to hell. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, I went back to that crazy place. Uh, Ipmon Only got... this time it was real. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's gonna be a lot of therapy bills. But anyway, um, <laughs> I, uh, Ipmon got an upgrade. And then another upgrade, um, fought the Jabberwocky, quote-unquote, saw the dream versions of all, all of my friends again, um, and now I have a demon lord as a partner, and a motorcycle that he rides, and yeah. Because oh, I'm cool now. What? Because I'm cool now. No, I'm not cool. No one's cool. <laughs> oh. Because we're about to get... Because something's going to happen where we get smacked back down. Oh, you don't know that. And... Anyway. I mean, by the laws of Chumbawamba, we just get up again. Yep. Ain't no oh, okay. terrible. Down. Now, let's join our heroes back. In this next exciting episode of Digimon Nightclub. Hey, a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I don't know what that means. No one lives under this lighthouse. No lighthouse, shut up. You're <laughs> not here. Is that Dragomon? <laughs> Ali Hibuki, you're standing outside of a giant windmill. Oh. Um, oh my God. hey. So. Hello. How long has it been? Yeah, how you're finding out the time? Uh, looks at my like phone. It's been about three minutes. Oh. Okay. Immediately, um. Rep immediately calls. Shino. Aoi. No, not Aoi. I'm sorry. Shino, Seichi, <laughs> and Mai. Hello, Hibuki! Hi, Aoi. Nice hat. <laughs> Welcome. You all get cold. Uh, pretty sure if Mai and Shino answer, you just hear a lot of wind. <laughs> Same for Seiichi and Nehan, just lots of desert in the background, too. Also, lots of wind. <laughs> it's just wind, but more grainy sounding. Hey, guys, I uh, got my brave. And also, I we found Beelzemon. Tell you my little clock! What? what? More demons? Tell no. you my have a cool hat, yo! Thank oh, yeah. you! Oh yeah, uh, I got. Also, Ali has a cool hat, like Bon Jovi. I'm on. What do you mean a cool cat? Hat. <laughs> do you need help with the rats? Anyway, yeah, my face um, hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I got my Hitmon is fully evolved now. Also, I think we might have a way of uh, getting under the sea. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds great, Hibuki. Yeah. I, I can barely hear you. Sorry. Oh, no. Anyway. Why'd you call Tony to get the pee? Hey, can someone send a shovel? Agumon's in a sand dune. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going under. You go take care of that then. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you the pen. I don't know why you would have called to ask about a pen, but okay. Okay, Joy, you can use it. Uh, and immediately hits the red button. 
Wow. Hey, I mean, logic. Wow. Yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to really hear him. <laughs> yeah, I just like well. That was more of a text message situation. Sent. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a picture of the group with uh, the Elsmoniacs and Ali with her cool hat, and just sends the picture to everyone. <laughs> The Elsmo's currently stroking his new bike. You get a response immediately from Mai that just says, Hibuki, did you know there's a demon lord behind you? And <laughs> <laughs> I just text uh, back, that's Ifmon. That's an excellent place to end that scene. Yeah, <laughs> Hibuki, did you know there's a uh, demon lord uh, behind you? <laughs> spot on, JB, spot on. One. Okay. Meanwhile, with Shino... Um, this is actually perfect, because I have to watch my nephew for a little bit, so... Again? Yes. Oh, so, uh, Aoi just glitches through the floor. Got it. <laughs> BRB. Let's just say... Let's just lie, that say, um, Aoi glitched into... Let's just say Aoi glitched into, uh, Beelzebub's motorcycle. I mean, we're changing scenes anyway. Yeah. Not even gonna be focused on. This is the Shino show. I understand. My... I'm just bringing it up. The Shino show uh... in the Mayumi moment. Yeah, I'll just go back to that. And I'm just gonna sit here and drink. Uh, let's see. You two are currently flying through the air. I don't have music for flying through the air, so. I got you, Jack. I'll just do what I did for the um the Aoi Sidious video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't that just the Harry Potter theme? No, don't. Why do I feel angry and repressed? <laughs> anyway. Anyways. <laughs> it doesn't take you that long to fly over to the arcade. It's no. like a couple minutes at most. I, as a reminder, I have Glitch Wizard Mon with me. <sighs> Did Chino get there before my? Because that went right there from the after breakfast. Ah, bubbly. Yeah, there was nothing left in the in the the passageways. It was all clear. Cause well, I I'd, I'd flown I'd flown there with Black Aruru Mon. We used White Wings. Well, it was still yeah. I mean, you're already there then. Okay. Well, how's the inside of that arcade look? Pretty dead, except for the one machine in the back. Uh, gonna check out how that looks real quick. Just check the screen. You walk up to the screen. You see, it's not a normal arcade cabinet, mind you. It's got a long screen to it that's just straight up. It currently has the equivalent of a a slowly spinning screen save a picture. Hmm. Oh, uh, is Blacker Room able to fit in the arcade? Hmm. I'll. Hmm. Because just realized, like, oh, it's a tight squeeze big. to get through the door, but there's enough room for him to stand in there. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for the lift, buddy. Anytime. So. Oh, geez, right. If I travel through this thing, we're probably going to come out in the office. <laughs> oh, boy. That'd be a big surprise for Izzy. <laughs> ah. Oh, probably going to have to put you back in the device. Um. How's the beach? Warm. Huh. You know, it's a beach. No, I, 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 actually, I don't know too well. Oh. 
<laughs> Points to pa uh, palette color of skin. Don't really know the beach too well. All you have to do is go out in the sun to get a tan. You don't need the beach for that. Yeah. It's a long story. <laughs> Anywho. <sighs> Time to go back home. Well, for a short moment anyway. Uh, so I will hit the recall button. After I give Bakaruman a nice hug. No. And I'm gonna point my digivice at the screen. It starts to flicker with light and you get pulled through it. Uh, is this still a trip? <laughs> oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Yeah, find yourself tumbling over into a chair. An empty chair. Ooh! Hey! And you're in Izzy's office. Well, who's this CEO now? <laughs> what time is it? Oh, what time would it be? I didn't write this down. Uh. It'd be like a couple, like an hour or two after you originally all went in together. So ah. it's roughly, I'd say about, I think six or seven ish. Ah, Izzy must be taking his after dinner poo. I'm standing right here, ah! behind his own computer. Ah, boy, dimension traveling is weird. I'm glad at least got a warning this time. Wait, this thing actually warned you? Well, it was a very faint beep, and then I saw the gate open, and I knew I had to stand up because oh, wait. I know what happens when people wait, come this time. through. Yeah, this time. I forgot to turn my sound up last time. That was my own fault. <laughs> oh boy, who showed up in your lap? Ah, uh, Seiji. Classic Seiji. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry you're yeah. popping in like this. Uh, this is it's kind of what we have to do to uh, recharge our cards and stuff. Oh, no worries. I uh, expected you to keep coming back through here anyway, so uh, <laughs> I don't expect this. <sighs> well, uh, Thanks for not minding. Oh, jeez. Uh, I should probably make a quick phone call while I'm here. Uh, Chino is going to call his mom. Okay. You ring. It keeps ringing for a while. You know your mom does this on purpose, just for suspense. Not like time's a factor or anything, mom. And then she picks up before the last ring would normally go off. Hello. Every time. Oh, she know. Oh, mom. <laughs> so, oh. oh, I don't know how time dilation works or anything, but uh, uh how long's it been? Oh, uh, what do you mean? You've only been gone for a bit of the day. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's been like a week for me. Oh, you kids and your games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I, you know, just checking in, uh, just letting you know everything's going good. Uh, you know, getting a lot of exercise for once. Oh, that's great. Uh, and he's hesitating hard just because the one thing he's not trying not to tell her is kind of wanted to hear your voice in case I die. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, uh, how, how, how weird would it be if you find out that, like, time travel actually worked and we met someone from the future who was related to us? 
Hmm. I'd ask them what I'd look like in a couple of years from now to know if I need to start using that new skincare regime I've been hearing about. Oh, come on, man. You don't, you don't gotta worry about that. Oh, you're too sweet. <laughs> Dad, on the other hand, he's probably gonna go bald as hell. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> well, I uh, guess, guess I'll let you go. I uh, have to worry about meeting hypoth hypothetical future time traveling daughters. Okay, have fun with your games. Yeah! Bye. <laughs> Hangs up. I need you to make me a perception check. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's a 14, get me. I was going to say, it's not going to be a high DC. Because there are three other people besides Izzy sitting in this room. Uh, and you didn't um, know them until now. Uh, how much did you want here? Uh, every word. <laughs> Do I recognize them? Are they the same ones from before? It is not the same people that were in this room before. There seem to be three different people in here now. So they just saw a kid fly through the computer screen. Yep. And I'll say roll insight, like a general one for all of them. <laughs> Twelve. They don't seem weirded out by this at all. Hey. Well. If anything, nice. one of them... The female one, she looks slightly annoyed. <laughs> it's the look of, oh, this again. Yeah, yeah, ain't the usual digi Dustin shenanigans. Uh, anyway, for my next trick, and I'm just gonna point my, uh, my device at the, uh, the screen again, like, Oh, um, hey, Izzy, you wouldn't happen to have any tits for dealing with, uh, uh the morning star, you know, devil, uh, you know, Lucimon, Digimon. Uh, no. Well, you have a one, gun? Of the, one of the people in the back actually does, like, raise up a, a hand. Oh, you! See? <laughs> hmm, hold on. I need to try and find <laughs> something very quickly. I don't know where I saved it, so you'll have to bear with me for just a moment. Sure thing. While we're waiting, real quick, um, Dan. Don't have it at all. Yeah. Was Shino not going to the beach? I couldn't help but just like, she think of fucking Zach's my brother Adam story. Oh no! Like Shino doesn't go to the beach. He was there with his brother Adam. Then a large dude covered in seaweed grabbed his brother and walked into the ocean. <laughs> Never saw him again after that. We just kind of don't talk about it anymore. Mom still cries at night. That's why we can't go to the beach. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyway, you see... A very well-dressed looking man with, like, short black hair. And uh, you see him holding something in his hand. Some sort of device. Mm -hmm. Looks very similar to your own Digivice. I'm gonna walk up to him and check out what he's holding. You see him holding. Hold on. I'm gonna try and find a quick picture. Oh, this is the wrong one. Ba, 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 ba. You see him holding one of these. Not in that color. You see that one in green. Whoa! <clears throat> hmm. What's this? Oh, that's a. Uh, it's a. It's called a DR. It, it, it's one of. It's our Digivice here. Wait. Are you, are you an, a former Digi Destin? Yeah. Oh, uh, my name's Henry. Oh. 
Hey. <laughs> I, I'm going to need to roll a history on this because I, I know I've heard that name. Oh, boy. Yeah, you 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 recognize that name. Hey. Are you Owie's dad? Oh, so you do know Owie. Yeah. Ah, hey, she's doing good. Oh, uh, that's good to hear, at least. I know how dangerous it can be in, well, with these creatures, so. Ah, you'd be proud of her. She's stronger than ever. Well, are you going to introduce us, Izzy? You see the very well-dressed but snarky-looking woman on the other side with very crimson-looking red hair to her. It's wearing a nice long, but not too long dress. It goes to just below knee level. And she's wearing a very fashionable blazer with it. And even even Shino, uh, like, perks up immediately upon hearing that, and uh, he backs up a bit. Uh, Shino's actually gone to bow play. Oh, uh, I, I should have introduced myself in the beginning. Uh, Shino Pareto, uh, current Digidestin. Uh, Rika. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Do you have any great uh, veteran advice for dealing with demon lords? Don't let them stab you through the heart. I... AKA, don't get Leo Mond. Ooh, wait. Hey, we have a Leo Mond. He's a Bancho. Oh, he'll be fine then. Yeah, he's missing a leg though, but he's awesome as Ooh. heck. At least he's not dead. Yeah, that was a previous injury. We, we, we didn't see him lose it. <sighs> okay, well. Don't get stabbed through the heart. That was actually part of the top of my list of things to not do. <laughs> you just see Rika nudge the, nudge the person next to her. You see... this. You see another kid that has brown hair. He's got goggles around his neck. Oh boy, goggles again. <laughs> this is easy of the group. He's wearing a polo shirt, but over that he's wearing a blue Vest jumper. <laughs> uh, hi, uh, I'm Takato. Takato, I, I swear, I, 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 I'm, I think Sage, you mentioned your name before. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, um. Oh, you, n would any of you have any um advice on what to do with a Digimon living in your head that may or may not hinder your ability to regain your, uh, you know, ability to cast magic? They all just look at each other. No, we never, we never could use magic. Huh, guess that's an us thing. <sighs> I mean, if you want to learn about things being in your head, we'd have to call, we'd probably have to get our friend Jerry. But, uh, Jerry? Yeah, she was the one who had the Leomon for a partner before. The one that, you know. Is, is this just a recurring thing for previous Digidestins where they all have a Leomon that just goes, you know, <laughs> Apparently so. After finally getting together and pulling stories, what a, a lot of Leomon don't element. survive. Yikes! It's always just normal Leomon, though. I mean, there was a saber Leomon once, but eh, I don't care about him. I mean, <laughs> they they only knew him for about five minutes, I think. So the pain was there, but... Eh. Hey. Okay, well, I'm gonna make sure ours, you know, stays alive, uh, 
it, it was pretty close. Uh, he had to do he had to do an explosion caused by a sword made from uh, <laughs> Megijamon. Oh. Yeah. Did you not tell Mimi about anything involving Seichi getting hurt? Or else. My neck will be on the chopping block. That says Izzy. <laughs> Cowering behind his computer now. Yeah. That was a pretty serious situation. It's okay though. Apparently, apparently our friend Seichi is actually trying to befriend Megijamon. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, apparently, he's in like an angsty teenager. I want you to roll me insight because you see someone in this group twitching. Please, Ooh. Dan, please. 18! You see Takato at the mention of the word Megijamon tense up. His eyes shrink. He is terrified at the mention of that name. Um, previous history? Technically, he was my Digimon. Wait, what? It's a long story, uh... I... You probably know Gallantmon, right? Well, I've heard of him. Well, he, he was originally my partner. And, uh... Well, let's say, uh, during our time and journey together, uh, I may have not been the best partner, and let's say I pushed him down the, the wrong path and ended up with something we didn't want. Wait, that was your dark digivolution? That was a dark digivolution. That's what happens when you push a Digimon too hard. Huh. <laughs> what did he do? I wanted him to get stronger quicker. I kept pushing him to be stronger so he could defeat Beelzemon. And, uh, I guess my, my anger and hatred towards him turned Guillaumon into that thing. But he didn't stay that way, right? He managed to calm him down eventually. I... But my Digivice broke in the process of that. Oh, I thankfully like got that. a new one in the end, but... you have any good advice on how to calm, how kind of calm him down? <sighs> or at the very least, get him to talk? I... I don't know if it's the same one, but maybe... Mention my name. Float back by, see if that helps. Okay. I'll be sure to pass that along. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, I'm glad to help. <sighs> oh, jeez. Make I, sure I Allie's it. wearing a coat. I know it gets cold in there. She's got a boncho jacket. She's got a what? Oh, stop <gasps> being a prude. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it, it, it's actually pretty fitting on her. Considering that she punches things hard. No, oh, she got that from her other dad. <laughs> I knew you shouldn't let her watch wrestling. I think there's a few things she probably shouldn't have watched. I'm gonna kick his ass when I get home. <sighs> Why did she even find out about that creepypasta? She what? Anyway, bye! He <laughs> pointing the device at the screen. <laughs> and you go through. <laughs> Meanwhile, with Mayumi. Well, 
am I? Am I still just flying, or did I finally get to the arcade? You finally got there, I'll say. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Chimeramon. I don't think you can fit into the building. Would you like to go back to the nice place, though? He nods. Okay. Let Chimeramon go back to the Digivice. Uh, I will let uh, all of the ones that can fit inside come out, which basically means all I of like, the other. I would also like to preface by saying this, that Although everyone just has like a normal, ordinary looking beach island in their device, you have more of a resort in yours. Oh. <laughs> it's nice as hell. <laughs> yeah, it's even nicer. There's a pool. There's a pool beside the, just beside the sea as well, so you can either have salt or fresh, normal pool water. <laughs> Upgrades, am I right? Um... Oh. I will let all of the other Digimon out, uh, so that way they can walk around and s stretch their legs, I suppose. <sighs> Fan Beamon is being lazy and resting on your head. As it does. As um, it does. Okay, um, I'll look over to Glitch Wizardmon. Are you ready for this? I'm not. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I... I do it now. I can stall for a little bit. We can get our our, our uh, senses together, I guess. I'm just going to come inside and go to the terminal. I am going to spend my points. <laughs> so I did the math while I was waiting. Um, so I am going to grab uh, some some skill uh, some skill points up. I'm going to boost my decks all the way up to 18, and I am going to grab Hunter's Mark, and I still have a thousand points left. Nice. <sighs> I have Hunter's Mark now. Yay. <laughs> Uh, that is not... I have to put that in manually. Great. Well, so for the time being, I don't have it. Um, and then, since there's nothing else to do, I'm going to call Diana Mon. The glitch wizard mod comes over with a stress ball, which he's squeezing. It's that, it's that toy one where the fucking ears and nose thing pop out. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that? Behind the counter. I'm going to very quickly go behind the counter. Is there actually any more? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of toys back there still. A lot oh. of stress toys, as you see. I'm going to grab one. You have stress toy. And then... Oh, what do you want? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Hello. You hear a pop. I think Glitch was my broke stress toy already. I'll hand him mine. <laughs> he start, starts squeezing it hard again. Hey. So. That's where you went, is it? Uh huh. Oh, we'll make it quick. I'm busy t picking up your slack. Uh, my. Hurry up and talk to her. Um, well, I guess it would be a good idea at least to get a, a, a basis of what's been happening while we've been gone. Um, but I have some questions for you, uh, Miss Diana Mon. Uh, fine. What are they? So, without spending too long, uh, Maya's going to kind of mention everything that has happened so far since the last time they've talked. Um, and more specifically, Mai really wants to know if there's any way possible to save the uh, Royal Knights. Oh, they're still alive. Didn't you know that? What do you mean? Oh, they're still alive and okay. They just... 
taking their time getting back to Mega. They're actually with partners now. And they're oh. retraining to get back to their levels. They just used up all their energy in the final fight to, I don't know, make some big event happen. <sighs> or at least the ones that were still in Mega form. There are a few that didn't make it to that fight in Mega. They were still alive, just saying. But I don't know what they were doing, playing cards or something back at their castle. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. Well, it's not written down in any of the history books. It's still newer history. Although not a lot of people know what happened because the only four to five people that were there, I say five because you're there now. Mm. Well, they never, they didn't really open up about it. They just kind of kept it to themselves. You know what? That's kind of fair, I suppose. Um, but I actually, hmm, on that note, I have an interesting question. Um, because I'm here, if if and or when we go back, if, are things going to be the same? Well, nothing's changed yet. I'm pretty sure something would have happened by now if, if it was going to change. Don't you? I guess? Hmm. Also, you haven't seen Pluto, Pluto on there, have you? He didn't go did, back with you, did he? Is did Pluto Mon disappear? I mean, he's always disappearing with that train of his, but hmm. I mean, we can yeah. look into it, I guess. Stupid idiot with his dumb tying glasses. Oh, um. I'm going to, like, hold, like, Glitch Wizard Mon's shoulders and kind of push him forward a little bit. I think uh, it would probably be a good idea if uh, Glitch Wizard Mon actually could talk to um, all of his uh, workers. Let him know that he's okay. Uh, fine, I'll patch him through to the intercom system. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look to Glitches one. You can do this. If you need to get big, no. it's probably a good idea. Uh, could you uh, wait outside for this? I need to find some uh, airs and graces, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> walk outside. You just hear a low rumbling. You look through the glass and you just see it turning back into Marukimon. He's standing up straight, arms behind his back. He looks... He's, you can tell he's putting on as much bravado as he can, but you've known him enough at this point to know this is probably just an act. That stress ball is being used while it, his hands are behind his back, aren't they? They're to popping behind his back. But yeah, you hear a few words, a few powerful words coming from him on the inside. You hear his voice crack every now and then, as, as and then behind his back you hear the squeeze of the stress ball again. He's probably still extremely nervous. But, uh, after that finishes, you just see the, the light of uh, Digivolution come from inside and just see him turn back to Glitch Wizard Man. I'm gonna come back in and I'm just gonna kind of place a hand on his shoulder like it's okay. <laughs> oh, it never gets easier talking to everyone. I don't imagine. <sighs> um, anyways, uh, outside of that, I guess I can give a, a bit more of a formal report uh, as far as uh, things that have occurred and things that have been accomplished. Um, for the most part, almost all of the Braves have been acquired. And, um, I have a couple of scans. Oh. I'm going to kind of show off my Digivice for a brief moment to mention, to show that I do still technically have the Barbamon and the Megidramon. Well, I don't have Megidramon anymore. Um, but I do have the Barbamon and the X-Tyranomon scans. 
Ooh, you can make some lovely clothes out of the ex Tyrannomon one. I intend to. Very soft. Soft? Yeah, like a giant plush toy Digimon. Oh. Okay. Whatever you make with that's going to be extremely soft. Extremely durable, but very soft. Well, that sounds nice. Anyway, don't worry about having to make full reports until you get back. I'd rather you safe first. <laughs> There's actually like a giant relief off of my shoulders. I'm not that heartless. Except against you, dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> Bye! And she hangs up. I just kind of kind of like sit down and just kind of lay on the floor for a second. That went better than I thought it would. Glitch Wizard Month's spirit is leaving his body. I'm going to grab the spirit and pull it back down. <sighs> You're not dying on me yet. Let me leave this mortal coil. Can't do that. Okay, I tried. Oh, where's your friend? Where um, are you supposed to be meeting us here? Oh, sorry, I already know who he is. Where's Shino? Oops. Well. I mean... I know, I'm sorry. No kibble for you. Question. Five seconds after that, he comes tumbling through the screen. <laughs> there. Found him. Oh. Casual charged! Well, well, that's, that's good. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, what? Uh, uh, frankly pulls out Digivice and immediately starts texting Seiichi. Ah, uh, met with a uh, for a uh, veteran Digi Destins in the in our world. Um, tits for Medijamon. Um, try and <laughs> mentioning Takato's name. He gets back an audio recording of me just screaming, Neon, Neon, help! The sand! The sand! As I sink lower under. <laughs> <laughs> also, I know that Shino is currently on the floor looking up at the ceiling as, as he was doing all this. Okay. Oh, oh boy, I'm glad I got this in down. Oh, boy, I met some interesting people. What's what's going on? Would you like Would you like a hand up first? Oh, uh, thank you. <sighs> well, uh I uh one of them was Owie's dad and his dizzy dusting group. Oh. And um, one of them had a partner that turned into Bagijamon. Oh. Dark Dizzy Evolution. Is it the same one? That we're fighting? Probably not, but maybe... Who knows how time works? It's weird. Or even... Maybe there's some kind of, like, residual code or something? Or maybe... I don't even know if there's more than one Megijamon. My just kind of looks at the screen for a good, like, second. And goes, yeah, I wonder how time works. <sighs> Fucking time. How does it work? Oh, uh... How'd everything go? Better than I thought it would. Not as good as it should have. So, overall positive? I suppose. I look towards Glitch Wizardmon with like a hesitant thumbs up. <laughs> um, you don't look so good. Uh. <laughs> Just, just gonna, just gonna give, uh, like, some, just gonna give, uh, Glitch Wizard Mom pats. There, there. There, there. She makes it so hard. <laughs> oh. Um. You, you talked to the angry lady again. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want to sound mean when I say this, but if you, if you worked, then maybe she wouldn't be as mad. What do you mean? I do work. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> um, am I just gonna kind of sit there and go, well, how, I know, I don't know a whole lot about, like, the people that you have under you, but, um, I know that they all like you a lot. Um, probably that, um, personal touch is probably missed a lot by, uh, by, by your followers right now. Uh, I need to get back to them soon. Speaking of your followers, and I just look over to Shino, we gotta go. Oh, that time, huh? Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> and thinking back to, uh, back in the office, um, oh, damn, ah. Oh. But before I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something outside real quick. Uh, and Shino's okay. gonna step outside. Uh, and I'm gonna let everyone out of the Digivice. Everyone Probably some of them. And with Blood everyone there, she... with a coconut drink and a, <laughs> a flower thing around his neck. You don't know where he got those from. Huh. Questions for later. Uh, she knows. She knows. Actually, going to give each one of them a hug. I hope I don't ever push you to what you do all, you know, harder than you couldn't. I just hope I'm doing good. You're doing fine. <sighs> I think, I think I'm a bit shaken up from talking to one of the other Digi Destin about what happened in theirs. Well, if I ever guess at that point, we'll just tell you. I hope so. <laughs> and then <laughs> raising, raising up a hand to. Uh, darn her. I got my hand to uh, knock myself in the head. And what about you in there? I will try. <laughs> That's all I can ask. Also, don't <laughs> hit yourself on the head. That's weird. <sighs> Visual context for the camera. <laughs> Could have just called me out. That would have helped worked as well. I always tend to forget I can do that. <laughs> well, guess there's no time like the present to go to Cyber City. Yay! It's lean back into the door. Okay, I'm ready. Mai is probably talking to her own Digimon. <laughs> um, the ones that she can at least talk to right now. Mostly mostly getting herself hyped up for this because she's not prepared in the slightest. <sighs> you, uh, you nervous too? How could you tell? <laughs> you look at Shino, he's actively twitching every now and then. <laughs> Oh, you know, I had a feeling. Hmm. That's not gonna be good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna look at the issues of mine. Um, is there a way that you can take us to, uh, Creepyville? Um, I have no idea. Or do we have to head back to the town first? Uh, I mean, I could use a door in here. It wouldn't be that hard. Oh, okay, cool. Now that's handy. I can use any door to open for this effect. It doesn't have to be my own store. Uh, 
I don't think I can use this glass one though, because I mean mm. we can see straight through this one. That would get weird. Yeah, closet. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the one that leads to the engine room, where the or the generator engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will do. And to open the door. Oh, and since we're gonna be heading through a door, I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta put a uh, black room on and blood my own mom back into the device because they big. Big boy. Have fun on the beach. Recall. Recall. I don't think I've ever been to the beach before. Me neither. I mean, I've been to a desert now. It's just sand. Ugh. Sounds I wonder awful. how Sage is doing. <laughs> Help. I'm that, dropping Dave. sandfish. I'm drowning some fish. <laughs> Let's get up some of my dessert music. Where are we? Honey, hon, I can't believe we defeated the 18th sand golems of the Shadow of the Colossus Nightmare. Well, what an eventful Tuesday. I think I'm you going... made your way out of Baron Camp by this point already and have started to make your way over to the town that lies below Rav. Would it be past Anubis or close? To... Or... Past Anubis at this point. So. Just walking. Uh, in terms of time comparison, would I have gotten She Knows Text by now, or would this still be a little before She Knows Text? Uh, you would have got it by now. Okay. Because it's going to take you longer to, um, because you're going by foot. It's going to take you longer to get there than everyone else's things. I would have read it and just, like, looked at the sword. Uh, something to talk about a little later. Uh, uh, I would have had Agumon in the Digivice since I him and Lotmon really, so they wouldn't have to walk through the, the sand. Yeah. Um. And I assume Nahon's just got Palmon with him, right? Yeah. Nahon, I don't know if I can do this, but would Palmon want to wait in the Digivice with the others? Hold on, I'll check. I wanna, I wanna try going in there with everyone else. You see it. We shake her head. It's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think she wants to. Well, still good traveling company. And I just, like, I would lean over to her. I just, if you get uncomfortable, let me know, okay? She looks sheepish and nods. Uh, you got a good partner there, Nehan. Yeah. I mean, we've been through a lot together already. Yeah, I noticed with you still taking the medicine and everything. Um, and Seichi is a little, like, choked up at the moment as he looks towards Nehan. Look, I, I know with the way time works and everything that there isn't anything I couldn't have, I could have done, but... I'm real sorry I couldn't be there for you. It's, it's okay. I know, but... I know you would have been there if you could. In a heartbeat. And it goes double for you too, Palmon. You ever need anything, don't even hesitate to ask. You know, I like to think I'm being brave. Sometimes I'm probably just being stupid. Well, Mom said your grades weren't the best. I had pretty good grades when I was awake. When you were awake? 
<laughs> Listen, alright? Do you have a school in the future? Like, what we have now? Uh, technically, yes. Does it have fire alarms? No, because we don't have them in buildings because there aren't many buildings left. Alright, so essentially you're probably about, you're probably still safer than the death trap we were in. And <laughs> just chuckles. Oh, that's right. I did hear about that. I heard it was one of you that set the fire. It wasn't me. It might have been me. I don't remember. That was sessions ago. Anyway. Is, is the future real? really that bad for you? Uh, I mean... It's livable. We make do with what we have. It's... Hmm. Not the best. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I know Mayumi's worried about something too. It's sort of her personal thing, so I don't want to say, but. It's a little frustrating to know that there's people you want to help more than anything and feel like you can't do it. Just because something says you can't, or it says it's not possible, but... And he'll just kind of like look towards that sword, look towards Nahon, look, and just kind of like look forward. I don't care how many times something tells me I can't help people, I'll find a way to do it. Even if it's not the way that I think. glad to have you here. I'm happy I got to meet you a little earlier. <laughs> <sighs> you don't do if anything's ever bothering you. You can talk to me, right? I know you're technically older, but... It's, it's alright. It's alright. I know. Regardless I, of I... age, we're still brothers. I'll make sure to come to you if anything ever bothers me. Anything, anyone, or if you just want to go do something reckless. <laughs> I was warned you were going to say something like that. Well, you can't make an omelet until you break the pan, because then mom will order omelets. She still does that, you know. I don't know how she has a cooking show. She never cooks. Well, after the collapse of civilization, she started cooking. <sighs> she always said if, she always said the only time she'd cook is if the world ends around her. And it did. If you want, before you go back to the future, or however that'll work, you can pop out and say hi to her. I know, but I, like I said, she's not my mom yet. Hmm. It wouldn't be the same. No, I get it. I am. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I kind of wanted you to go so I could go. I am. Um, and Seiji's tearing up a little bit. He's not crying, but he just looks a little, like, flustered. I kind of do miss her. Well, I mean, don't let me stop you. I'll still be here. Or yeah. is it more, uh, you don't want to go back yet just until everything here is done? Can't go back until everything's done. I got a lot I need to take care of first. And also, regardless of time, regardless of place, if I left my brother somewhere and mom find out, um, regardless if we save the digital world, I'm probably not going to make it to the future. You know what? Fair.
I hate sand. Just as it's been pelting us directly in the face. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. Uh, where are we even going, Ra's Temple? Yeah, there's supposed to be a village down at the base of it. Uh, well... I'm gonna just look towards him. I mean, we're not getting any younger. Wanna race? Eh, why not? And so once he like hitches Palmon up, and just to be fair, I'll like bring Lotmon out, tell her to ride on my back. Also, I don't want to get like attacked without Lotmon present. <laughs> Lotmon, the sand attacking me. Can you defeat it? Brings out knife. Let's do this. All right, and go. Just starts kicking off with like Nahon. Just running our way towards Ra's temple. Yo, run through the desert. Make me a pocket. Let's just roll decks. To see who w who manages to at least start to see the village first. Nineteen. Ooh, sixteen. You run as hard as you can through this desert. It's a bit hard because there's some very loose sand in places, but after a bit of running and you start to get a bit more tired, you reach the top of a dune and you see... This place. Uh, Raz Temple, first stop. See which one of these is. There we go. This is giving me weird dark side of dimensions vibes, Jack. <laughs> Are we gonna find the prana now? Welcome to the memory world, fellow. Get out of here, <laughs> Seahawks. I know what I oh said. Oh my god, I need to choke on my drink. Don't choke on your drink yet, Jackie. You still have to make Kathymon the mega form of Numamon. I'm not making Kathymon. Kathymon! <laughs> Kathymon! Joshinka! Oh my god, stop. Okay. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy! <laughs> I like Kathy's. Ross Temple. Yeah, so you see a very well kept looking desert town. Despite what I've drawn here. Looks nice. When you start getting closer, you see it's actually filled with quite a lot of extravagance. You see a lot you see lots of open market stores around the place, buildings bustling with life. And yeah. Wow, this place looks nice. You know, it, it you, you know? see a big sign like as soon as you start walking in, it says welcome to Glass Village. Glass Village? Well, good thing they have sand. I'm just kind of looking towards Nehan and like looking around. Where do you think we should start looking for Mummy Mon? Uh, I'm gonna guess. Hold on, actually, I'll roll something. Let's see. What is your perception like, child? Oh, definitely, yeah. I'm going to say that building that says Mummy Mon Tailoring. Huh. You look over and it is a blink, huge blinking sign with his face, with a huge mummy face on it. Alright, I'll humor you. Just looking embarrassed that he missed the giant blinking sign. And 
walked to the building with Nehan. You go, you walk up to this building, you see there's a lot of fine looking clothings in the windowsills, just waiting to be touched. They look so silky smooth, made with fine materials. Um... You can barely even see the seams from where they were all sewed together. They're almost invisible to the naked eye. Oh, Mom would love this place. I'm guessing you walk in? Yep. You walk in, and behind the counter, you're greeted to this man. Ooh, I like your variant mummy, Mon. This cool. Hello, welcome to Mummy Mon Tailoring. How may I help you today? Hi, uh... I'm going to take it from the bandages that your mummy mon, right? In the flesh, technically. There's still flesh under here. Well, um, we're here on behalf of um, Pancho Leomon, but first I do want to say I've, I've never seen such nice clothes before. You do amazing work. Well, thank you. I do my best. You're a, you're a data weaver, right? That I am. Um, How do you know what they are? Oh, Pancho Leoman, that's right. We were wondering if you'd be willing to maybe establish a connection with the Village of Warriors? We have a few other... Hmm. We have Pancho Leoman, and I think we're collecting the other Bonchos as well as other data weavers to sort of, you know, help us out. We're the new generation of Digidestined trying to stop the Demon Lords. Mm. Well, I'd like to help, but I do have my store here to keep up, and it is my only source of income, so if you can find a way to help get around that, then of course, I I commissioned a way to get around I'll that. as much as I can. I pull out my box and show him the pristine a lock. Box. Um, would you happen to have a key to this place you'd be willing to spare? That's a very forward question, especially I... to my own store. I... How do I know I can trust you with a key? Well, all intents and purposes, we just met, and I'm asking you a lot, for a lot of you right out of the blue. I know I'm not coming off as very... It's probably not the most respectful way to do it, and I do apologize. It's just more... I, I, my mom and my family have a habit with being surprisingly direct. But I promise I won't let anything happen. Roll me persuasion. Eight. Mm, I'm sorry, but I still... I can only help you with what you need right now, I am afraid. I can't, like, I cannot just pick up and leave. Oh. And I can't just hand out a key to my establishment. That would be very inappropriate of me. I get it. If it helped at least to know what it was for. The key was to... It would essentially allow us and the other Digidestin to be able to get to the shop and actually buy things from you without having to trek through the desert. And it could pretty much come from anywhere in the digital world. Or send any pla Or send anyone who's looking to buy something from you from the digital world. If anything, it would, like, increase the range of your business. Hmm. Well, I still don't feel right giving you a key to my store. But... You could try to rent one of the nearby houses. I go for cheap around here. 
How much is it? Of everyone who lives here owns their own business anyway, so they have no need for the extra housing. How much do they usually cost? Um, let's see if I remember my math correctly. It's 150 bits a month. Yep. And all you'd usually have to do is pay for a year, and then you get to keep it. Looks towards his pockets, doesn't have nearly enough bits on him for something like that. No. Um... So you can just sort of start scratching the back of his head. Huh. This is a bit more difficult than I thought. What if, um, what if there was something I could do for you to prove my trustworthiness? Hmm, like what? Well, is there anything you need done, or anything I can help out with? Don't I hire you on for the day and see how well you do, and let's see if I can trust you after that. Oh, perfect. I'd be more than happy to help. Just you point and tell me what you need me to do, and I'll get it done. If you can sell at least three items of clothing, I'll consider it. Seichi just like salutes and and just kind of like looks towards um he's actually gonna call out Agumon Agumon, Lotmon we have to be salespeople for the day I coach hey do you think you'd be willing to help me out with this I can give it a good shot All right, let's sell things. Hey, yeah. Lotmon just, I imagine, raises her ears up and goes, Kia. <laughs> she, she poses. All right, working in Mummy Mon's shop for the day. Do I get a nice shirt or at least some sort of uniform? You get. The equivalent to something that's similar to his outfit, without without the mummy wrappings, it's just like it's it's, it's an it's more of an old ancient Egyptian sort of common outfit, but it still has accents of royalty to it, it's cool just shit. to make you stand out. Oh wow, these are nice. Made them myself. You are, you are a master of your craft. Thank you. You know she does it too. And I actually gesture towards Lotmon. When she reaches her ultimate form, I'm stealth tailormon. She can also make clothes. Oh, so there's another one of us now, is there? Yeah, she's not able to do it too much. Um, I mean. But, you know, we've been, we've been working on it. That's why I've, I've grown to appreciate really nice clothes like this and, you know, I, and Sage, you would actually bow to Mummy Mon. Thank you for giving me the chance to even sell something like this or, and, you know, prove I can actually be trusted to some degree anyway. Well, we'll see by the end of the day. All right, let's do this. And how do I do this, Jack? So, well, I will put three customers before you. And you have to... Mm. 
roll three persuasions for each. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this will be the first half of the day. Okay. So we'll see how you do with the first three. Well, for the first three customers, who do I see? I don't know, because I haven't got any Digimon for it. Do you just want them to be generic customers and we don't name Digimon? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, hi. Welcome to... Welcome to Mummy Bonds. Oh, uh, hello there. I'm looking for something casual. Casual. Is this going to be for a more um, casual event, or is this just for everyday wear? Oh, every day. Every day. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. And gonna roll first persuasion. Uh, seven. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll think on it and come back tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. Looks a little down. And the, and the first customer leaves. Walks over to the second one. <laughs> Uh, hi, how can I help you today? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm looking for something kind of sporty. I've got a, a big game i got to go to tomorrow. Oh, cool. What game is it? It is the sports ball. No, I'm just kidding. It's tennis. I love tennis. Oh. Well, let's see what we have for tennis wear. Uh, ten. I have a plus four in this. Why am I rolling so bad? Oh, what the heck, I'll take it. <laughs> Great. Happy to help you. And that is one satisfied customer. Walk over to the other person. Hi there. What, um, what would you be looking for today? I want something that can make my eyes sparkle. Eyes sp- Oh. And it better not make me look fat. Can I can I roll something before the persuasion on this, Jack? Yeah. Can I incite her to see this person if they're like Mimi? Yes, you may. Six. She's acting like her. All right, I think I know what to do. I think I have a good idea for something for you. And I try to find the Mimiest outfit I can. Something that Mimi herself would like go <gasps> for. Okay. Oh my god, this is just to die for! Oh my god, you're great! Oh, here's a tip. Oh, well, thank you. I will wear this out. Thank you. Thank you for shopping at Mummy Bonds. And I take the money and I go and put it in, um, if Mummy Bonds has a, like, a register or something. Yeah, yeah, the cash register in there. I put the money in there. And just... Ah, selling stuff's harder than I thought. And now you get a lunch break. Sit back. Just... Is Mummy Mon making clothes? Yeah, you see him currently at a sewing machine, but it looks more different than a normal sewing machine. You've seen tech like this sort of before in Bancho Leomon's place. As well as making up the desk of um, Stiffen Mon. Just walk over. Uh, well, I guess while I'm on a break, or however this works, would it be alright if I watched you make clothes? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Well, you are on your lunch break, so I can't stop you either, so. I just sit back and say she watches with like fascination as he's like making clothes out of data. You see, it's the same. It's similar to how. Boncho Leomon makes the card. But instead of when the data goes in as a solid, like, iron chunk that looks similar to a card shape, it turns into the sp a spool of thread. Wow. That has, like, the aspects of what the Digimon is. Like, making its exterior. Hmm. 
No wonder all your clothes have such a nice shine to them. Well, I only like the best for my customers. I couldn't really call myself an artist if I didn't. Hmm. He's gonna see Seiichi sort of like slap his cheeks. Well, for clothes this fine, I have to try harder the, at the end of the day. And he's gonna rush back out to the sales floor. Not even doing okay. the full lunch break. Well then, I'll say you'll get five more customer chances. Hi, welcome to Mummy Bonds. How may I help you? Hi, I'm looking for something to that's beachy. Beachy, beachy. Oh, I got it. Nineteen. Well, how did you know? This is perfect. Well, nothing's more beachy than shorts. Oh, sick. You mind if I take one of these necklaces too? And maybe some of these bands? You're a good person. <laughs> Bye, Beach Edamon. That's canon now. Yep, it's Beach Edamon. <laughs> If anyone wants to draw that, be my guest. Most likely I will. Yeah, I know it's gonna be you. Alright, and... But you did get an extra bit of money on that, technically, because he did buy more than what you offered him. Well, so. it's all go it'll all be going to Mummy Mon, and uh, I'm gonna actually just keep selling to the rest of the people, even though I've sold the three already. Okay. Just for the sake of expediency, can I roll four more yeah, persuasion? We'll the, like the last couple rolls, yeah. So. Eight. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Six. And fourteen. You managed to sell to two or more of the people. And I guess it would be getting close to night or closing time by this point. Yeah. You see, you can't really see the sun much from here. That's because there's a big honking pyramid in the way. But, like, the sky around it seems to be going darker, so you guess it's probably nightish coming. Oh. Uh, as Mummy Mod would come through. Well, um, I managed to sell to this many people. I wasn't able to get a couple people to buy some stuff, but I, um, I did manage. I met some pretty nice people today. They all really appreciated the clothes. It's less about the clothes that they appreciate and more about the company they get from someone working this floor as well. Wait, what do you mean? The clothes are fine themselves, but if someone isn't out there to, to sell them on them, sell the people on the clothes themselves, they will sometimes flounder. Oh. Huh. They'll, they won't know what they really want. They'll ooh and ah and keep going back and forth between different things. And it takes someone like me, or apparently yourself, with a good eye to help them find what it is they really want. Never just force anything on someone. Look for what they're looking for. What mm -hmm. their interests are. To help them find the one. The one. Something tells me you know all about that, though, don't you? Not particularly with clothes, but I hold up Lopmon. When it comes to my friends and my my best friend, obviously Lopmon. Never, I'd never be able to force anything on her. If she's not comfortable with whatever's going on, then I'm not comfortable with it. Good words. Good words to live by. But, uh, you did sell quite a lot today, so I guess you did prove yourself. He pulls out a key from a pocket? Maybe it was a pocket? You don't know. You didn't see. <laughs> he just pulled the key out from somewhere. Thank you, Mummy Mon. It's, it's very ornate looking. 
very very what you'd expect for this area if you were to like type up ancient Egypt on the internet thank you so much mummy man I promise this will this will only be used to get people here to your shop never for anything else it's yep. better because I'll come for you if it does what's that I said it you better not use it for any other reasons, or I'll come for you. <laughs> I give him a salute. I would never lie to my boss. Like, <laughs> like just wearing the uniform happily. And if you ever, you know, need help around here, you, I'm always happy to come back again. Hmm. We'll see. You have, you said you were also busy out there, so maybe when you're not trying to save the world. Not with the way everything's going, that's never gonna happen, but and I give Mummy Mon a smile. I'm never too busy for a friend. <laughs> Go on, run along now. Alright. So, I'm gonna call up Glitch Wizard Mon. Oh, uh, hello there. Hi, uh, Glitch Wizard Ron, I'm gonna send you a key. Can you open up the doorway for me? Uh, oh, uh, okay. I plop the key in the box. Let the doorway open up. It opens up behind me. Perfect. And before I go, um, I would actually turn to Mummy Mon. Hey, um... Mummy Mon, how many different pieces of data would you be able to turn into clothes? Hmm. Depends. Depending on the size of the data, I can create whole outfits from one. Or just certain accessories. Huh. I'd like to see if I could get one for each of Lotmon's ultimate forms. Or if not, get all three of her ultimate forms in one outfit. That could be possible. <laughs> That'll probably be for another time, though. Of oh, course. Cool. I'll keep in touch, and I'll be back real soon. You take care now. And I will run through the doorway with Nahon. And just, like, talk to him. He seems nice, Nahon. I like him. <laughs> and how long have we been going for? Um, just an hour and a half. We've gone through quite a bit. Yeah, we have. We still got plenty of time, dude. I know, but I feel like I'm going to want to take a break here. Just. Okay. Will you take a break? Shuttle. Oh, I assumed. Yeah. That's what would happen. Time to B R B E. Gonna take the P P. So. Custom mummy man. I like it. Yeah. It's a good <laughs> look. Yep. It's a very cool design, Jarek. Yep. I like that his sewing is just scripting clothes. <sighs> I'm super glad it's not a monochrome on, because uh, I think anyone, anyone who's played Digimon World would have Vietnam War flashbacks. Foie, foie. Uh, that's right. Dan, oh. you know we're getting close to you, right? Oh, no, never mind. I already put the... We're getting close to Sheena. And Sheena. Oh, 
Oh, that's how that works. I did not. I never noticed that. Well, you talk so much of yourselves. I would want to have just dead yeah, violence. I've got to go take care of some. I'm just, I'm hanging. I'm enjoying the Mummy Mon art and the chill music. Yeah. Dan's on mute. Chibi. What you want? How you doing, boy? I'm doing. You feeling tasty? Not really. <gasps> oh. Daddy's back. Is he? He's typing. He missed me being a retail clerk. We can all guess what he's probably gonna say, right? What do you think he's gonna say? I think my heart go. Something like, I'm sorry it's taking so long, or I might not be able to come back. Hmm. Ran into fraud or... Oh, the fuck? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot that off. Oh, I'm wondering, like, wait, I don't have, like, where am I missing money? What the hell happened? It's like, oh yeah, I just commissioned Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Go commission Jack. He has, uh, he has slots available. He does, and he works quick, too. I told him there was no yeah, real right. specific timeline on it, and he had it done the next day. He's the flash of commissions. Also, he, he did that to me too. Also, he'll flash you with his commissions. Whoa! He, he'll wear a long trench coat and then open it up suddenly, and then he won't be nude, but his commissions will be under there. You'll be very disappointed because my commission keeps the boring. For now. Watch that tone, baby girl. Commissions are good. <laughs> no, my commission sheets aren't. They're kind of boring right now. I gotta make them better. Now, have you thought of using that Magidramon picture as your commission sheet? Not the one you're drawing. The other one. Uh, no, I'm not using that. It attracts attention. No. You're talking about the sword, right? Nope. No, he's on about the fucking porn picture. That we fucking ran across. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm gonna show yeah. something in chat, because I was just, like, browsing, like, a Model Kid website, because that's what I do when I'm not doing anything. Um, I, I found this. It's, it's a March release called the Shengjing Technology Azure Dragon. I'm, that's a fully articulated dragon model kit. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Senryu. It's 70 bucks, but I'm sitting here in my head just being like, I would like to. <laughs> Yo, you that could, is really You could make cool. them fight. Make them, make them fight. <laughs> Let them fight. Let them fight. Oh, McGeedramon, you've done it again. Oh, Magoo, you've done it again. <laughs> and then there's the, the figurized Dukemon Gallantmon. And I think it was just announced, uh, at least this was mentioned in email, um, the new Digimon one. <laughs> Which, let me pull that up. Uh, yes, the Imperial Dramon. Hmm. And I'm going to put this in for Jack mostly, but um, it transforms <laughs> into its other mode. I... Nani? <gasps> oh, wow. 
It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo. Can I just very calmly and quietly just mention like kudos to the to like the figureize series for making like these Digimon uh, model kits look awesome as hell. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a lot better than the original version of that. Dan, what are you gonna do when you meet Sheena and it turns out she's just Duchess from Foster's Home from Imaginary Friends? Uh. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry too much because I have no idea who that is. Oh, don't worry, I got you. I was pulling up the picture. Uh, extremely stuck up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. How do you have that on tap? Think about an elephant, <laughs> Corella Deville. That's also Picasso. What a weird show. Mm -hmm. What a weird what a game. Show. What a weird game. What a weird world. I just need Sheena to be something like just a complete misdirection where Mayumi's like like oh Sheena's kind of terrifying and then you just meet Sheena and she's just like hi how is she terrifying she's terrifyingly nice from the digidust and of kindness and then Mayumi just puts on sunglasses and finger guns that would be something Mai would do if she was joking. She's not. Uh -huh. Hey, look, it's Sheena. Hello! Yes, oh. That's tire. That's terrifying for me. <laughs> oh, God, she was a Kathy the whole time. <laughs> Is that why Dark Jermon joined? Kathy, Kathy, Burrito! Kathy, Kathy, Burrito! <laughs> <laughs> Is it Kathy Pareto? That's when I that's when I that's when I meet back up with everybody. Guys, I don't think we have to worry about defeating the demon lords. Uh -huh. You know what? Just for Chibi, uh -huh. I'm gonna have to do a cover of Successors again. But it's gotta no, be it's gotta be an I, all you stop what you're about to say. All Kathy <laughs> Successor Kathy cover. cover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I it. can feel the Excalibur face. Kathy! Uh, Kathy! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Successors! Hey. 64 views! Very happy. <laughs> hey, uh, anybody who's listening to this on the recording, if you want to hear the opening for this, go listen to Successors. It's the official yes. opening for Digimon Knighthood. Oh, well. Apparently, uh, there's a forbidden game on sale on Steam. I mean, there's a lot of forbidden games on sale. Oh, well, yeah. forbidden for cable. Uh, which off was? No, which it. I'm making my pieces, okay. which is... I thought you were going to say something like Garfield Cart 2. <laughs> no, I think that's for Dan. Look, that game will never be on sale. That'll always be fifty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Because it's worth it. They really think that really of it. <laughs> no, because it doesn't exist. Oh, I'll be damn it! It's on sale. <laughs> ah. and, and you can you can get the lasagna bundle. The lasagna oh. bundle. Dan, everything you say about that makes me want to end my own life. Stop talking <laughs> about it. It's got drifting. Cool. Oh. Can it drift me off a cliff? <laughs> Wait, a DLC is <laughs> This game is tagged under cult classic in lore rich. Oh shit. I love it. <laughs> it's also tagged great soundtrack. Should we get back into things since we know that he's not going to be able to speak? 
and everyone's here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, GM. Going back on you. Just finding different music. Hold on. The silence is deafening. You could cut the silence with some tension. Let's go back to Shino and my. So after we cut away, we have gone through a. Uh... Uh, gone back to the sh uh, his shop through uh, the engine room door. Yeah, Jam would have if uh, something hadn't happened. I got a trap burp. I'm sorry. Ugh, it will come out. Oh. Your burps you can't be responsible for them. You hear something springing to life in somewhere in here. A noise you recognize. Huh? Mm -hmm. Remember that machine that gave you fortune before? You see its arms starting to move again. Mm. Um, Looking over at Glitch Wizard Mon? Maybe it's your turn? Oh hell no, I don't get involved with that machine. That well, thing you... predicts the future. Yeah, we, we know it does. <laughs> Yeah, it's terrifying. Although I'm wondering why it's here. It's supposed to be with the circus. Wait, what? There's a huh? circus. Ting. <laughs> the circus got pulled into space. Some people failed to give it to where it needs to go. Shino will <laughs> hesitantly walk up to the machine and see what happened. There is a card sticking out. Looking up at the, uh, at the, what, what did you mod inside of it again? It's uh, what, uh, what, what does it look like? Wise it mod? A, it's a humanoid with a red robe and I think it's a cream colored scarf that covers the head and face. So you only see like two glowing yellow eyes in it. It's a giant Jawa. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's scary looking. Sorry, I don't know what that is, so. Uh, shit. Looking, looking at the Wisemon, uh, because it, it is a machine, right? It is definitely a machine. You think? Uh, is this one of ours? The uh. hand just moves and points to you. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Grab the card. Oh boy, what's the future gonna tell me this time? It says, find friend at the fair. Find friend at the fair? The midnight fair? The midnight fair? Huh. You see... One more thing written on the bottom. This one looks like it was scrawled on in pen, though. Like it was a last edition. Hey, this is actual handwriting. Two nights to go. Creepy oh. Town. We uh. gotta go to Creepy Town? <laughs> yeah, we could, we could probably get two nights to go. Oh, but then before it leaves? I think until it comes to us. I mean, we have to go through Creepyville in order to get to Cyber City, so... He's looking back at the Wise Mom machine. 
Okay, I'm not even gonna question why this is why there's handwriting on this. Ah. Let's go. My, I want you to make me perception. Okay. Perception. Nine. I'll say you see it from your angle. There's a pen behind that wise mon's back. I'm going to calmly and slowly like pull up my digivice and I'm going to use my Digimon analyzer on the machine. <laughs> it <laughs> it brings up the stats for a wise man. Um, is that a fortune telling machine or is that actually real life? Going to put the digivice back down slowly. And look to Shino. You can t very visibly tell without an inside check that Mai is kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a machine. So is is there an open slot anywhere on there? There is a coin slot, but that's about it. The rest is sealed glass. Uh All right, all right, let's see here. I will put one bit through the coin slot. What's the next tick again? No, you put, you put uh you, well, you tried to put a bit in. It doesn't take it. I will put in a hundred yen coin. You put in a coin. It starts whirring to life. As it has done before. You see the cards that lay in front of it. Well, I say the cards. It's not, they're not real cards. They're just like wooden blocks that are supposed to turn over and act like cards. The center one turns over and says... And speak your wish. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. I, um, uh, let's see. A wish, a wish. Wait, like a wish, wish? Okay, then. Well, I hope this, uh, Encou this coming encounter for my Yumi and me goes really well. You see the wooden block cards turn over, revealing some sort of patterns on them. You don't know what they mean. But a card dings out. Huh. <sighs> What's this one saying? Protect your left cheek. This is possibly the best advice I'm ever gonna get. <laughs> I... Hmm. I'm... Actually, kind of interested now in, in something. Need a yen coin? Oh no, I have money. Um, but I'm more curious as to why Wise Mind isn't just talking to us normally. I kind of look over to Glitch Wizardmon. You said that he was supposed to be over at a fair? Oh, yeah. He uh, travels with Plutomon's uh, fair. Have I heard of this fair before? 
Uh, roll history. That's insight. <laughs> That's insight. Well. Uh... You've heard that a powerful Digimon somehow is running a circus that tends to disappear every now and then. You don't know why. You, <laughs> you remember at least Plutomon's backstory of him wanting to be a part of the Olympus 12, but after being shunned so many times, he decided to move on to something else. Wait, why was Plutomon rejected to be a part of the Olympus 12? Uh, he was a bit more boisterous about how to deal with uh, certain types of people. Hmm. And I will not say any more than that to spare your ears. Okay, um, so why would Wisemon be here then? Destiny? Uh... Maybe he got scattered like me and Sheena? No, no, that's not it. He usually gets bored and just kind of shows up whenever and wherever he wants. Hmm. Well, heck, I wouldn't be surprised if it has something to do with Destiny anyway. I mean, that's that's where we found uh, Nahon's thing. Going to kind of approach the machine for a second and uh, figuring that Wisemon won't answer any questions without some compensation, I will put in uh, a 100 yen coin. Um, what can you tell us about the fair? The whirring happens, the cards turn, and your response dings out. What what does it say? Well, that's not helpful. I don't think we're going to get any straight answers. I don't think so either. Um. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So you can respond without needing money. <laughs> Ding. Winky face. Looking over at Miami. Got any more rooms in your Digivice for scans? Um, considering that I believe I left most of my scans with Boncho, I think I can. <laughs> you do know the fact that he is an ultimate, so. But it is Just polite to it is Thank polite to ask. <laughs> um Mr. Wisemon, would it be all right if I got a scan of you? Ding. Go right ahead. Okay. I will take a scan. A bit awkward at this situation. <laughs> bit weird, but you get the scan. Well, that was weird. Um, it's probably been a while, um, Mr. Wiseman. Do you need any food? He 
It doesn't even need to produce a card. One of the inside cards, well, the wooden block cards on the inside just flip over to say no. Okay. Well, um, you have a good day then? <laughs> kind of awkwardly kind of <laughs> turn around and walk away. This is weird. <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna wave and get, we're heading off. And I will say, my roll uh, perception one more time for me. Seventeen. Yeah, I'll say through your digivice is scanning and um, looking at this thing for long enough. You can tell the the robot itself probably isn't actually wise man. But you did see something else hidden underneath like some bits of the robing. You saw the corners of a book. Hmm. A book? Mm-hmm. I guess you can if anyone wants to that are in there can roll me a history on this part. Oh my. Fail. Uh, I'll say Shino. Although you didn't really know what he looked like at first, but you, you have heard a story that, um, he usually likes to travel around through space and time in a book. Keeps him safe, like a spaceship. Oh no, it's a spaceship. He's an alien! Okay, uh, uh. okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come! What, what's wrong? Just pointing at the, pointing at the book. That thing is basically the equivalent of a spaceship! But it's a Digimon. But if if everything else that I learned about that was only supposed to be myth was actually a Digimon, then who, who's to say the aliens aren't just Digimon too? Well, if they are just Digimon, then isn't that a good thing? Is it? I mean, that would mean that they're not all bad, right? Demon lords? <laughs> My kind of puffs out her cheeks for a second and goes, You know that I think that everyone is redeemable. And what about the ones that aren't? There's no such thing as an irredeemable Digimon. Let's say you guys already went up across one that was. Who knows? Maybe if we had the chance to talk to him, there could have been some kind of agreement. Well, three more we know about. Hey, did Hibuki say something about a Beelzebine? Oh, yeah. Um, did you see the picture? Just looking at the picture, seeing the motorcycle. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Anyways, let's go. We're wasting daylight. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> yeah, make your way through. Back to everyone's favorite spooky place. <laughs> I'll end up with you on there. <laughs> Bye, Ghost of Hibuki and Owie. Where? They were just missed clones. <laughs> Don't need that one. Thing? Hmm. Okay. I can still hear his voice in the wind going, what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to text Hibuki, Aoi, and uh, Seiichi really quick. Uh, just saying, uh, the fair is in Creepyville, apparently. And maybe it'll only be around for two days, or maybe it'll come in two days? I don't know. Um, you get a response. Yeah. Can, can I respond? See, why not? Okay, um, oh, we had to go there anyway. I don't know which Oni afterwards. Uh, not necessarily a res well, more, most likely a response, just, uh, Jack, where would I be at this current point? <laughs> Still working the shop. <laughs> okay, I'm just not sure how Jack's doing. Uh -huh. Okay, so I will respond basically, uh, head there when I'm done with my thing. Okay. I guess okay. we're all going to meet here when everything's said and done. Yeah. <laughs> Probably for Noble Pokemon's sake, hopefully not in his place. I think he still gets frazzled when we come through like this. Well, uh, we can at least exit his this place respectfully. This place is really nice. Really but... empty, though. Mm, maybe he's just lonely. Or... I don't know. Uh, but when I, uh, I think, uh... There's only, like, there's only, like, three rooms that are, like, furnished, right? Mm. Yeah. Like, the study with all the alcohol, the dining mm -hmm. room, and the upstairs where he sleeps. Like, they're the most... You can tell they're the ones that are the most used, but everywhere else gets cleaned as well. <laughs> it's not as if every other room is empty. It's just not used as much. I'm sorry, what? Well... Oh. Hey, I have an idea. Um, uh, we didn't run into any of the Dokugamon or anything. Uh, unless you did? I mean, I kinda flew. I thought you were walking. I, I was going to, but then uh, see, she gave me a White Wings card and I flew all the way over. Got here real, got there real fast. That explains a couple things. So you still have the food? Uh, yeah. Uh, suppose we could leave it uh, as as a thank you for letting us come through every now and then on our, on our little end table here. Peace offering. Peace offering. Leaving it on, uh, leaving it on an end table with a note saying that thanks for, thanks for letting us use your place as a way to travel to Creepyville. Signed, the Digi Destined. Probably a little bit cold by now, but it should work. P.S. Probably microwave. Does he have a microwave? I have no idea what anyone has around here. Anyways, let's get going. Yeah. All we right. don't know how long Sheena's gonna be staying in Cyber City. True that. Walking out with uh with Demi in my arms. Hey, welcome home. Oh, it feels so good to be home. Uh, <laughs> ah yep, home sweet home. You've been you doing actually... my backpack, haven't you? But no. <laughs> yep. Going to the front door of the mansion. Yep, we're just going to immediately be heading for Cyber City. I was going to say, you're going to just arc all the way around to that way across the bridge or go to Witch Elmy and then. Do we have any reason to go to Witch Elmy? No, I just. Nah, uh, it's probably we should probably take the more the most direct route. Yeah. That's Hibuki's thing. He wants to go there. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Creepy feels my thing. <laughs> I don't know. Witch Elmy sounds like a good kind of place to go to. It does, but we kind of have business.
Okay, Trust then. me. Really tempted to want to go to Witch Elmy. And what actually looking at the map is does the most direct route also look kind of sketchy? Isn't it just a bridge? It is a bridge. There's just a bridge. Bridge. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just fly to Cyber City? You could do that too. Of course! I can change the cards! Walking is lame. <laughs> also, you have a Chimeramon. Also, Hibuki was right. I don't need Chimeramon right now because I have wings of my own. <laughs> Why did you I've do got a white wing card. I used Chimeramon. Hmm? Oh, you don't have white wings anymore. Yeah, that's right. No, I do because uh, I recharged it. Oh, you did. So, you yes, did. we can't fly outside. The only reason I used Chimeramon was because Glitch Wizardmon was with me and he couldn't fly his own. Let's talk about it in the temple of the newness. But anyway. But that was the trick. That was to get everybody over. Mm hmm. We will talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fly. Yeah. Our way makes sense. We are going to fly to Silver City because it's easier. <laughs> All right. So, what cool thing. Uh, I'm uh, gonna gonna ask Black Guru Mon to come out. Nope. And he can actually see both of us. He's oh. Okay. That works. <sighs> I'm gonna miss this place. I always miss this place. Are we, uh, ready to meet my greatest fear? Uh, okay. And swipe white wings. <laughs> the thing is, before that happens, someone else comes up the doorway. Hmm? <laughs> Well, Hibuki. What? Eh? What? Eh? Why am I? Oh yeah. Um. I was kind of waiting for you guys. Oh. Yes, we had all time. How did you get here so quickly? Um. I mean, we technically we drove here. The thing I had was only like three minutes. Wait. Even more I time didn't... dilation? Uh, no. Um, more like it just our time's kind of synced up due to going on the train over there off into uh, the Great Windmill coming back on Beelzebub's bike which I guess would have actually been relatively about the same time you guys would have gotten here. Very fast, like, by the way. Like, extremely fast. I, I, mm. I feel like what you did would have taken, like, half a day. Oh. Don't question me. <laughs> I mean, the bike also traveled across the world, apparently. Yeah, but it had time. Yeah. But... Mm. We're not gonna... We're not gonna. We're not gonna question this. The goofy here now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Thanks. Jack. Cut over to Sage. Yeah. He just put nice retail music. Do 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 do. Just sitting by the <laughs> counter. <laughs> <laughs> also, apparently, Owie got stuck in the bike. What do you mean? Points to the bike, and Owie's just kind of glitching through it. Just looks like a Gmod mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's been asleep this whole time. It's weird. No noise. Huh. Kabuki, you really shouldn't have turned off no clip. Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know how to do the T TCL command. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, anyways, we're gonna head over to Cyber City. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I don't think it's a good idea to just leave Owie like that. No, it's not. Okay, by the way, what form is uh, Beelzemon in right now? Pretty sure it's just Beelzemon right now. Beelzemon. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, is this how I think it is? Yeah. Luffy's smiling. Hey there. Hi! See? I told you, Shino. Yep. It still doesn't explain aliens. But I just told you. Some some Digimon, even no matter how bad they can be, can always be good. Yeah. Look, I, this is this is one of those weird exceptions to the thing where he had him as a partner since day one. But that doesn't mean he uh, wouldn't have been good either way. Uh, Shino? What? <laughs> it, it's nurture before nature. Oh, um, Shino's having an issue because we encountered Wisemon, um, and Shino thinks that he's an alien. He travels through space! I mean... And, and time. Okay, okay. We need to settle this right now. Hmm. Shino? What? Technically, every Digimon that we have met that is... Our Digimon are technically aliens because they went to the real world. Technically, most of them are yokai. But they went from one world or planet to another. Uh, uh, nope, this gets chalked under under fantasy, phantasmal, and ghost-like. No, that's just called mental gymnastics. No, no, there's, there's been properly categorized in books throughout ages. Uh-huh. The books. Yeah. I'm really pulling out a comic book. As you can see, proper documentation has That's been made over many book, generations. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, play. Comic books are fiction. Yeah. Technically, wouldn't any of this be like we like, like fiction for if we told anyone that Do we not. did? Okay, Shino. How do we know that these aren't just strange encounters that other people have had throughout time and then documented? Can I insight Shino to see what he's trying to be doing right now? Because <laughs> it's clear he's so he's bad. dodging something. <laughs> so fifteen. Before you do that, Aoi pops out the out the bike. She she gl re glitched out of it again. Owie, Owie, you are my side on this, right? Eww! Owie! Eww! I met your dad again. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on! Uh, we're in Creepyville. Oh, you, cool! I yep, like Creepyville. Yep, you got stuck in Yelzamon's bike. Oh, did I? Again? Yeah. Oh, uh, your dad says hi. He says he hopes you're wearing a coat. You saw my dad? Yeah. What was he doing? He was in Izzy's office. Mm. With apparently Wait. his friends. Which Shino. one? Wait, which one? Which one? Uh, Henry. Oh. Mm, okay, I'll wear a coat. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he knew it was like, oh, I better do it. That's mad. <laughs> you know? Yes. You better get going. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Want, to want us to join? No, it'll be all right. Are you sure? Besides, uh, we're going via air, so we can get there quicker. I, I don't know. Hold on. I gotta check something. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to train map. I mean, you could just ride your bike across the green line. Yeah. And you like... get there fast. And you get there still. Yep. Mm. Well, the emerald line, sorry, the green line is the one that goes around the edge. I mean, yeah. if you want, if you want to go, we can't really stop you. 
Do you not want me to come? It's mostly that it may muddle things with her. Mm. This might be a bit of a personal conversation that Shino needs to do. Got oh, it. I'd like to... you got Bielsman. He looks up from petting his new bike to say, I would like to see my dad, though. Yeah. So, uh, we won't get <laughs> My, like, holding a finger for a second and goes, You mean two dads, technically? Yeah, just oh, like Owie. I just love them here. Just like me. It's a bit more complicated than that, actually. It's the same thing, Dad. Twice. Now you mm. get to see how he Nothing became. wrong with self-love. <laughs> oh, you uh, so how do we explain this? Double the amount of dad jokes. How do we explain Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go now? <laughs> I mean, I feel I'm ready to go back now. Also, think of it like this. If it's kind of happening how I think it is, the future one would have already known how you've turned out. Okay. And just braced him. It's, it's fine. We can go then. Um, but me and Chino are going by air. If you guys want to take the bike over, that should be fine. Yeah, um... Also, um, one other thing, I won't, I won't interfere with anything what you guys are doing. I know, I do have some tact. Mm -hmm. it, she does give me looking at the fortune he got again. Trust me, I think, I think when it comes to her, we got this. Yeah. <laughs> Blaine puts the fortune away again. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Did you modify white wings? <sighs> and... The wings spread out and you oh! lift off. And, uh... and as we're as we're getting up off the ground. Oh yeah, hey Boogie, here's your question of liability. <laughs> Wait, I, uh... I I side Okaiba, throw it to you. <laughs> As we're trying to do that, but that's not how card physics work, it, and it just kind of flutters to the ground. Jack, be quiet. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> do you dare question the word of our Lord and Savior, Seto Kaiba? I magic it that way. Uh, as okay. we're going up, can I look around to see if I see a fair at all? Okay. Uh, roll perception. Perception. 16? You... Actually, I want Hibuki to roll perception as well. You'll get advantage for this. What? Oh, okay. So that's key. Okay, I didn't well. actually expect me to be throw, rolling anything in this episode. <sighs> eh. Five. No, 19, no, actually. My, you hear a train whistle. You don't see where it's coming from. Nabuki, you hear the same train whistle from before, but louder. Uh. Okay. Well. Hmm. Well. Notes that for later. Like, as in, like, it's extremely close? Hmm, let's see. By the sound of it, it sounds like it's on its way, but it sounded like that before. It just sounds, like, closer. If, if you were to slow the movement of a train down, it feels like it's... like a few moments away from arriving. Huh. Hmm. Okay. You even feel the rumble of the tracks as well. But it's 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 like if vibration was slowed down. Okay. I'm gonna say this then. Hey guys. 
Hmm? Um. So, so that train, I heard the exact same train from yesterday or earlier today. God, time is weird. Um, that it's getting somewhat closer. Dang, it's creepy, Bill. I'd expect a ghost train. I said the same thing. Hmm. Um, we should come back as soon, if possible, after Shino. Hey, I always intend to come back here. Yep. That was the plan, but okay. <laughs> yep. We, uh... Sir. We, uh... We, we, we spent some time talking to that wise man, fortune teller. Mm-hmm. That hurt. Yeah. Got yeah. a... Got a few interesting things from that. Yep. It's alive! <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Um, okay. No, it doesn't! Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Sorry, I keep... Sorry to hold everything up. And now, and now you fly away and the kids ride off into the sunset. Once we're... Is it the Transylvania Choo Choo, track 29. Once we're in the air and mostly like probably on the way there, I want to do a thing. Because <laughs> we're just in the air and we are not doing anything. I'm going to look towards Shino for a second. Hey, Shino, you got a moment? Uh, sure, what's up? Be honest with me. What was that all about? The alien thing? Well, everyone knows. Everyone knows they're out there. They're gonna invade one day. We gotta be ready when it finally happens. Can't trust the aliens. They're always bad. Always, always bad. They're always doing something wrong. Shino, this huh? isn't about aliens, is it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Going to inside Shino. <laughs> 22. So, here's the thing. I can't exactly roll deception on that. What did I win today? There's reasons why it's he's not lying. But would my notice that there's a bit more to it than that? More than likely. Oh, Jesus. But it's something that even he himself has not come to terms with. What's this all about, Chino? Where did this fear come from? Oh, uh, you know, I used to, uh, I didn't, when did it all start? Well, I'm pretty sure I started, I'm pretty sure, I definitely saw a movie in middle school or something. It seems like it was then. But if you saw it from a movie, then you know that they're not real. Was it a movie? It had to be a movie. It had to be. Middle school. Uh. There's something. Was it a book? Was it a. And. Oh boy, now I actually. You're gonna have to make him roll something here. Definitely a movie. But then, if it was a movie, then you'd know it wasn't. Real. Documentation. I mean, didn't you ever see War of the Worlds? Or, it's, or, it's, uh, or Plane 9 from Outer Space? Or, it's, or... it's fiction, Shino. It's not real. <laughs> hey. Shino's starting to hyperventilate. Shino? What's, what's this about? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna kind of put a put a hand on on Shino's shoulder for a second and kind of rub his back a little bit. It's okay. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. No, 
not a freak. Not. Who said that? Everybody. Who's everybody? Everyone at school. Well, I don't think you're a freak. <sighs> you make it you know, you don't gotta make sense so we're not good at anything. You're good at a lot of things. Since when? My just kind of motions to everything for a brief second. I mean, look at where we are. I am barely holding myself together. <laughs> so am I. <sighs> like, I'm not strong. I can't run fast or far. I got she know? no social skills. That is a lie, and you know it. I'm really not strong. I mean, have you seen me try to lift? Have you seen me try to shoot? I mean, yeah, you, you, you could use better aim and, you know, it's, you, you just, it's all about breathing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but in all seriousness, you, you can do things, Shino. You're competent. You're smart. Yeah. You're a digi destined for a reason. I was pretty sure it was by accident. If anyone who it was by accident, it would be me. Wait, aren't you one in the future? No, technically. The, the term for being a digi destined in the future kind of loses its purpose. Like a job? It literally just becomes a job. That takes all the fun and majesty and childlike wonder out of it. Yes, it does. So at least enjoy it while you have it. I mean, at this point in time, being a Digi Destin means something. It means that you are the embodiment of something. I mean, my kind of like sits there for a second and thinks about it. I don't think you're the embodiment of darkness. It's, 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 when you, when, when everyone pretty much treats you like a freaking pariah. Well, I can't change what's happened, but you know that you have us, you have Aoi, you have Hibuki and Seiichi. Your friends. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you're weird. I do have friends now. I got you and them. You, and you know what? I bet those. I bet those people that uh, that called you mean things would probably sell out their friends for a box of Wick models. He ain't wrong. Oh boy. I tell you, if you ever made a guy named Vetus. Have I heard of a man named Vetus? Uh, roll a very low history check for me. Oh 17. no! He's the creepy subway man who throws his feces at birds. <laughs> no. He is currently the owner of 
his his from what you gathered it was his father's yeah, old toy and video game factory. I was I was one of the bet he became Biff from Back to the Future. So uh, and still somehow more smarter than Hibuki. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Jack, you do realize what you just did, right? Even though you might not realize you did it. What? You confirmed his name was Vadis. <laughs> Yeah, because you keep fucking saying it, and I can't get away from it now. <laughs> uh, actually, from what I do know, um, Vedas basically, a, like, a, I wouldn't say adopts, but more like takes over his own, his dad's own business. I'm just making toys. That makes way too much sense. He was bragging about that. Hmm. Here I thought if someone would brag about it, they would make it something their own, rather than just taking over a business. Yeah, he was telling us that he gets all his cards for free and everything, and he always gets the new ones out before anyone else can. Hmm. But, Shino, in all seriousness... Hmm? You're fine. You're a good person and a good friend. You're a good person and good friend, too. I mean... I, if you weren't a good person, I doubt Demi would even be here, right? Just kind of... Just kind of holding Demi even more. <laughs> yeah. I'm always worried I'm gonna fail them all because I, so much for that idea. I got that whole <laughs> issue where I can't even digivolve properly. Well, maybe we can work with, on that, right? Maybe there's some <laughs> other methods. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Hopefully it has nothing to do with that first fortune I got. Mm, what was your first fortune? And Shino rummages through his pocket. <clears throat> Child of Fright must see the light. In order to end his darkest night, for the one he fears is not a blight. Tears will fall from his might and finally end the chapter right. Shino. <sighs> Well, if that's what it means, then it means that once this is done, if this is done right, then things will be good. Maybe things will be a little bit better. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got the second part of that fortune. Sorry that, actually, that, cheek. that actually brings me a better question. Do you want me to be there when you talk to Sheena? <sighs> Maybe that'll depend on how things go in first impressions. Okay. If you, I don't, I don't know if she'll recognize me immediately. If you need me to be there, I will be. Otherwise, I'm probably going to make sure that uh, Ostamon and Ostamon aren't killing each other. Hey, how do you think two of them are going to act together? Um, poorly. <laughs> I don't think they're going to fit in with everyone else we met. Mm, Uncle Asta is pretty competent in a fight, but if I know him well enough, uh, he's probably not happy talking to himself. Is is he the kind of person that is uh, more than likely willing to buy a new pair of pants than, la than launder his own? He's more likely to buy a new pair of pants and then wear his old pants, forgetting that he bought new pants. Oh, but yeah, we gotta get there fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll continue on. Okay.
And that's why aliens aren't bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because they're fiction. You say that, but wait until we come across one of those squid words. <laughs> wait until Buki gets his next order. Squid word. <laughs> I knew it. Hip books been wanted the whole time. Fire! <laughs> That's just a bookie. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what they want. Fire harder! <laughs> Demi Devimon Warp Digivolve. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Demi Devimon Warp Digivolve 2 Punch Miramon. <laughs> It has plus 50 to hit. His name is Abuki. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, God really does hate me. God hates everyone. <laughs> After a while, you start coming over the land once more, and in the, a little bit of a distance, not too far away, you see a very big-looking city. Skyscrapers are stretching high roads and buildings in every angle and direction. Oh, boy. And, uh... Welcome to the year 2077. Yeah. We're bound to huh. come across a Digimon with red eyes that does the dino stomp. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrannomon? <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. I need everyone who's currently out to make perception checks. Especially Seiji. No, I just mean... Okay. Owie with a net 20. Yeah. I forgot to change my token back to the oh, he sees the world. Well, uh, say she, you're not there. It's just the people. Hey. I don't oh no, I know. I'm, I'm watching some Gazimon shoplift. Yeah, Aoi and Hibuki, you definitely see us. My, you see it as well. Uh, my use. Even though like a book is on the ground, you don't really fully see, but you do see like a uh, a beacon from somewhere in the city. Oh. I can you can tell that it's from the further side from you, hmm. so you'll know when you get there to at least like drive through the rest of the city if you want to see what that is. Uh huh. My you you see this as well, and uh. It seems to be leaving some sort of pattern on the clouds as it goes by. What is the pattern? <laughs> you unfortunately recognize this is a pair of underwear. You know exactly what that means and who that is. Uh, that's Poncho. That's not Poncho, that's Asta. It's Uncle Asta. What? <laughs> I know you. Can, I know people can hear that. <laughs> uh, are we heading towards the undergarments? Yes. Uh... <laughs> My already <laughs> looks embarrassed. Like, oh, his family. Under shorts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you stop flying down into Cyber City. Mm. Let's see, which version of music do we want to go for this one? Serene, so, where's this giving me like some Tron vibes now? <laughs> Ooh, the music. Yeah, let's go with this one for now. Are we watching a craft video? <laughs> oh, why did you say that? <laughs> We're crafting a story. The thing is, when you start going towards where this beacon is lighting up the cloud itself, it's. And oh, by the way, it's starting to get dark at this point, just, just so you know. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to see. You see 
the the light is coming from a a, a house that looks very sort of familiar in design to you, Mai. It's a very classic Japanese style house. It, ah. it, it kind of reminds you of home, but it's very big. That's this looks this looks kind of like my house. Yeah. Not as nice, but it kind of. Wait, not as nice. A big <laughs> house. Um, I've never seen all of it. What? what? I'm, I'm usually not what? allowed to go to most of the rooms. What? Hmm. Who he glares at that like what? Okay. I'm usually, I mean, if I do have to go to any other rooms, I'm usually accompanied by guards. Guides? Are, yeah. Are you some sort of diplomat? I mean, what? my dad does diplomatic things, I think. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that. Hmm. What do we know about princesses? That sounds like you live in a castle. Why can you talk to animals? I mean, hmm. I can talk to Digimon. I guess it counts. No, it doesn't. Uh, can you clean your whole magical cleaning supply with your mind? No. Wait, I got it. Start singing. If you, if birds come around when you start singing, that proves it. I just kind of looks at the group, kind of a bit slightly embarrassed, just like, um, let's just go inside. But I say, Vuki just like looks as like shrugs like. Mm -hmm. Uncle Austin's <laughs> probably waiting for us. <laughs> yeah. With undershorts. Oh, that's what that was? Yeah. <laughs> Mine does not like saying that. I did make a sheet. What? So. Huh. So that's... So you can form clouds in a weird way? No. Hmm. Oh. He's just a dork. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you fit in. He fit in with all of us. Maybe. Well, uh, <laughs> everyone starts making their way around the edge of the city towards this house, which is not that hard to get to. Oh, I let Ogremon out of the Digivice, by the way. Okay. Um. Mm. It's pretty sure he was not riding as well. Oh, probably not. There wouldn't have been enough room for everyone on there. Yeah, especially with Skull and Marimon and Apocryphon. Also, probably would have had to be in there. Would have had to been in their Digivice. Uh, unfortunately. I'm yeah. going to let out all of my Digimon except for um, Chimeramon because I doubt he would fit into this building. Um, but as we're approaching, I'm going to be addressing uh, Stingmon and Rollermon and just being, so we're going to meet some people that you're probably going to need to get used to, because uh, they're kind of, at least one of them lives with me um, back in the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, they are family, so please be on your best behavior, because I know he won't. <laughs> oh, I will do, man. Are you here people that know by killing him? Can't wait to meet him on dad. You see people running out the house. Firstly, you see these two. <laughs> Those that's your dad. That one. Hi, Uncle Asta. Oh, oh no. Maya, I need you to make me a deck save. Oh. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Eighteen? I mean, you could see what he was coming in for anyway. It was gonna be a hug, but he just fucking face plants on the floor as you dodge out the way. <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna give me a hug, I'm gonna let him. Yeah, okay, then. He, he goes in for a hug. He picks you off the ground. Oh, it's been such a long time. Uh, it's I mean, I know it's only been a couple days technically, but it feels like a long time. Oh. Especially with this boring stick in the mud around. I'm you. <laughs> yeah, you're still boring. <sighs> <laughs> I guess some people can't live with themselves. And that's not the only person running at the house. You see these two also running. Uh, M4 players. Uh -huh. Now I gotta get someone else to shoot up the demon. Oh. She has the mark on her. Must be the Pareto family cross now. Dan, ask her if she knows Sheena. <laughs> Question. Does a 14 hit you? No! Sheena. You instinctively remember. Left cheek. You cover it with your hands and dodge as her fist goes whizzing past your face. Neatly dodging out of the way. Ha! <laughs> Sheena? Sheena. That's where we're going to end that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jack, actually. Because we got a lot to go through. Yes? Um, um, if we're not even at three hours yet, would you be open to going a lot longer? Or just a little longer? Because uh, we, we're I not said... even at three hours and we could kind of just keep going uh, if everybody's open for it. I know, but there's... This is probably a good stopping point, and also, I'm leaving a little bit. Oh, okay. I do have something to leave off uh, for next session, though. Oh? Okay. Um, okay. Oh. And that will be <laughs> next session. <laughs> also, oh. actually, I was going to say, uh, Goofy would have actually had an Eldritch Blast trained on Sheena after she tried that. Oh, no, don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, no. Because I said trained. I didn't say... No, no, no question. Does a 17 hit Sheena? Oh, it hits. Okay, yeah, no. Owie is... Not with her gauntlets is going to punch Sheena in the face. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's where we can end the session. Oh! Don't See hurt Allie's friends! <laughs> See you guys uh, soon! See I'll ya. actually before.